The Tulip Snake is the newest entity added to Lethal Company, and they are by far my favorite creature. So let's get into everything about them. Tulip Snakes are daytime entity spawns, and they spawn in cycles, unlike Circuit Bees, which spawn all at the very start of the moon. Here are the spawn chances for Tulip Snakes on the moons they can spawn on. As you can see, the highest spawn chance is on the moon Adamants. Because they are a daytime entity, around 3.30, depending on the moon, they will despawn. Once spawning, the Tulip Snake will roam around randomly until finding a player. Once spotting a player, they will attempt to launch at the player and get on their head. If successfully attached to the player's head, it will try several times to lift up the player until it decides to get off their head. Once off the player's head, the snakes will retreat for about 10 seconds and then begin roaming again. A single tulip snake cannot lift the player up. There needs to be at least two snakes for the player to start flying. There can only be up to five snakes on the player's head. Each snake is about three pounds, and having five on your head will make you 16 pounds heavier. When multiple tulip snakes are on the player's head, they will lift up the player to a great height and then drop them, causing the player to take fall damage or die from the fall if it's too high. The more snakes attached, the higher and faster the player will fly. Here are some methods for countering the tulip snake. You can easily dodge their lunge by stepping to the side. Killing a tulip snake only takes one hit from a shovel, knife, or other weapon. Just like Snare Flea, these snakes can be hit off your head with just a swing. Unlike Snare Flea, they do not make you drop your items when they attack you. If you cannot avoid them, you can use them to your advantage. When you have more than one tulip snake on your head and begin flying, you can control your movement just like the jetpack. To stay close to the ground, just hold W or forward and use them to move around. Or, if you want to get to a higher place, just use them to lift you off the ground to where you want to go and use WASD, like with the jetpack, to control where you head. You can even jump for a swifter takeoff when the snakes begin to fly. Here are some other features about the tulip snake. Your weight does not affect the ability for these snakes to pick you up. As you can see here, I have a gold bar during one flight, and no gold bar during the second flight, and I fly at the same rate both times. You can enter the facility with a tulip snake on your head. This does not kill it, and they can open doors to navigate. You can use the jetpack with tulip snakes on your head. Using the jetpack when the snakes are trying to lift you up will cancel their ability to make you fly. Going up a ladder with two or more snakes, trying to make you fly, will shoot you into the air. Entering main with more than one snake can make you fly up into the fan and kill you. Tulip snakes will be attacked proactively by old birds and baboon hawks. Although mentioned that they can pick up objects in the bestiary, they do not actually pick up scrap. They do not detach upon entering the ship, but they won't willingly enter the ship to get you. They also don't detach or die from using the teleporter. Tulip snakes can be red, yellow, or blue. The noises the tulip snake makes can actually be heard by dogs. Lastly, stun grenades do not get them off your head, and you cannot get them off your head alone with zap gun. If you enjoyed these guide videos, please leave a like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And if you feel like getting a little more involved and talking to me, I am active on my Discord a lot, and also stream on Twitch almost every day. That's all for this guide video. Peace.